my name is Jason and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to create this move warp transition to use in your next edit or music video. Starting off I already have my two clips right here. It's from my central C music video with a uh, low dirk. So I'm going to go ahead and add our adjustment layer. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and add it's going to be S underscore distort. Then I'm just going to add it to our adjustment layer and it's going to start distorting our clip right here. Head right here to our blur lens and we're going to bring it all the way up to around 500 to around this area right here. So right here on the first frame, we're going to put our amount on zero. Then we're going to head over here to the middle of both of our clips. So when it starts transitioning from our clip right here to our other clip right here, we're going to increase our amount, a good amount to about right here. And then we're going to head about right here and put it down to zero. And I don't really like how this looks. I might just increase the real lens about right here. Going to easy ease our three keyframes right here. Then I'm actually going to make our quick graph. So this comes in more fast. So let's see. So I'm actually going to fix this one. So now we have our actual graph right here. Once after I have something like this, I'm going to go ahead and close our distort menu. Then I'm going to go ahead and add optics compensation. And then we're going to follow the same keyframes we did for our first effect. Click on our FOV time watch to create a first keyframe. Have it at zero on our first keyframe, then head right here. Then we're going to increase our FOV all the way up to around 120. Then head right over here and put it down to zero. And make sure our reverse lens distort is enabled. So we don't get this actual warping effect. So make sure it's enabled or it's just going to completely mess up your clip. Highlight our keyframes once again. And if you want, you can go ahead and just copy the same graph we did earlier. Then once after we have our graph made right here, we're going to close this out. Go ahead and close our optics compensation menu. And then I'm going to go ahead and add our exposure effect. Drag it in and just like we did earlier, we're going to follow the same keyframes. Open up our timeline and we're going to put on zero for our first keyframe. Head over here and we're going to put our exposure on our second keyframe at five. Head again over here at the end. Put it down to zero. Then we're just going to go ahead and easy ease it. And depending if you actually want to... Uh, use the same uh, graph we did right here on our other two effects you can just as up to preference so once after we add our exposure effect i'm going to go ahead and add our radial blur and it's going to be the last effect to help tie it in together so i'm going to put our type on zoom and our quality on high so we get the best results and then we're going to follow the same keyframes we're going to put on zero for our first keyframe then we're going to open up our timeline on our second keyframe we're going to put it all the way up to 35. So about right here and head over here to the end and put on zero. I like this and easy ease it. I'm going to save our project and I'm going to lower down our resolution so we can play it through without lagging, without it lagging too much. And uh, just like that, you get a nice and clean, smooth warp transition for your next edit or music video. And if you guys don't know, I actually did just release my first editing pack. It is based on a grunge aesthetic called the Grunge Anarchy Pack. I recommend you guys checking it out if you do like Grinch effects. And I'm going to showcase it to you guys of how it's easy to use and how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out our actual adjustment layer. Then I'm going to use our Grunge, maybe this one, right here. And yeah, just like that, you get an easy, nice and clean Grunge glow effect right here. And even looks way better if you tie in the actual warp effect. So. We're going to let that play and just like that, it looks way cleaner and it looks just much better. So if you guys are interested in Grunge effects or just Grunge presets and you love that Grunge vibe, I recommend checking out the Grunge Anarchy pack. I'll make sure to link it inside the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and like and subscribe or leave a comment on what effect you guys want to see me do next. Keep working hard and keep on staying creative. Peace out.